let me let me chef something up here. Uh, got this nice ham. Mm. Got this big nice ham. So, oh, look at that ham. Looking nice. Uh. <gasps> Wait for it. How's the ham? <laughs>
This is a atomic fireball. Some kind of candy. Some kind of candy confection. Some kind of atomic fireball over here. Oscar, what do you think of this? How's that, how's that smell to you? It smells all right? I think I may just have to go for it. I think I may just have to go for it. I think I may just have to go for it. Daniel, from right here in my mouth, it's coming up. All right, all right. It's in my mouth. The fireball, fireball is in my mouth. It's going, it's going. It's real. It's happening now. Oh. Oh, son. Oh, man. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh... Oh, it fell out of my mouth. It fell out of my mouth. The atomic fireball is gone. It's, it's on the floor. Where it, I don't see where it rolled to. We don't roll we to. Do not we have, have, we do not have information yet. see it. I regret to report that we have lost visual contact with the atomic fireball. Luckily, it appears as though there is another in our supply. I'm coming in hot on the second atomic fireball. Here we go. The screen is coming fresh from my mouth. It's a fresh from my mouth. It's a fresh from my mouth. Alright, here we are. We're in. This is round two. Fireball. It doesn't feel the top of the I'm not struggling this much. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, there it is. I'm really feeling it now. Really getting uh Unforgiving. I'm seeing fucking stars. I'm seeing spots. It's so atomic. Oh. in my cheeks fucking burning me oh.
down uh, on the comic book, and I raced it, and then I, you know, put, like, fuck or something. Like, we're dream team? I don't know, damn. But, yeah. And then grade six, I got an asshole teacher, and I didn't even know it. Burr, 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 burr. She, no, she was a real, real bitch. Everyone hated me because of the videos, because we used guns. We're a dream team. I wanted a way to, you know, her was pretty good. The teachers were pretty chill and, like, nice young people. And then grade five, you know, uh, I had the same teachers as grade three, so that's basically the same story. We're a dream team. I don't know, damn. But, yeah. And then grade six, I got an asshole teacher, and I didn't even know it. She, no, she was a real, real bitch. Lord says. Lord says. Lord says. Bird said, Burr was Bird said, Burr was Bird said, Burr was Bird said, Burr was Bird said. hated me because of the videos because we used guns. Oh shit. Plastic guns. What a crime. You know, they're going to become bad children. We're a dream team. Voice crack, put the, put the time it happens, blah, blah, blah. We go over this almost every goddamn video. Burr was pretty good. The teachers were pretty chill and like nice young people. And then grade five, you know. I wanted a way to, you know, have an outlet for my creativity, and I used it for YouTube. But, I mean, if someone can, like, if someone loves sports, they can play that all the time, and then they're looked upon, oh, that's great. But, I mean, if someone is real, you know, expresses their opinions, and uh, just does what they want to do on an Internet website and has fun doing it, I don't see a problem in that. In that. I get very personally offended when people don't buy me pants when I request that from them. I fucking gave gave Max my shirt the other day, and I was like, Max, in exchange for this shirt, I need you to buy me some pants. He was like, alright, Derek, I can do that for you. And I was like, okay, good, buy me pants. It's fucking three weeks later, I was like, buy me pants. He was like, no. I was like, buy me pants. He was like, I can't right now, I don't have the money for that. And I was like, buy me pants. And he was like, no. And I was like, buy me a BLT. And he was like, I thought I was buying you pants. And I was like, fuck! Buy me pants. And he was like, okay. Another week passed, and he didn't buy me pants. And I was like, Max, buy me pants. He was like, what's in it for me? And I was like, I already gave you the shirt, buy me pants. And he was like, fuck, you're right. And I was like, okay, so buy me pants. He was like, okay. Another week passed. I was like, Max, my legs are still naked. He was like, what? And I was like, my legs, they're still naked because I don't have pants. Buy me pants. He was like, okay. Still have no pants. It may look like I'm wearing pants right now, but I just painted my legs blue. As for my genitals, they're just... Not a lot of air gets to them. So they're just blue themselves. Have you ever heard the slang term blue balls? You're looking at them. So 
I go up to Max, I'm like, Max, my genitals are blue. I don't want people to have to see that. Buy me pants. He was like, all right, Derek, blue balls, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get you some pants. He didn't. Oh, fuck, wait, is a pomegranate a fruit? Oh, hang on. Would you say it's an exotic fruit? Oh! That wasn't it. I'm fucking mad now. Well, now I can't beat this level, and I don't have any pants. As for pockets, it may look like I have pockets, but those are just slits in my legs that I just shove things into. They're extremely infected. Uh, the doctors aren't even sure if they can save me from the bacteriums in my body at this point. Um, but I just want fucking pants. Max, if you're listening to this, buy me pants. You can't hide forever. We all have debts to pay. But I can't pay any of mine until I have pants. Hey, what's going on? I have to wrestle that chair over there. Young blindness. Little tiny, tiny person inside the house. Little man. Walking around. Small man. Four legs. Got like a head of some sort. Sitting down, lying down. Mandibles. What are you chewing on? Do you smelling things? What are you licking the licking carpet? Licking stuff. He's checking, the, car- the, he's checking the carpet out. Oh, he's just licking. He's just licking right on it. Oscar, look, will you, will you pick up that electrical cord? Hey, Britt, could you bring me that electrical cord? Yeah, we need that electrical cord. We need cord. that plug, guy. No, the what plug. What are you sniffing? Not the, not the, I can't even see you right now. He's close, he's I'm close. I'm looking he's at the dang cable he's, he's close by, he's close by. You ever see this he's, table cloth? He's not looking in the same direction, actually. I'm, I'm t- fucking talking about dude, the table dude, cloth Dude, 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 he's checking your jacket I'm, out. I got, I'm not even, I'm he's not case, even worried. I can't even he's, see him. He's, he's straight casing I'm, your jacket you, right now. There's, what are these? Are these onions? He's rooting around in your papers. He's going through your files. A blue flower with red thorns? Dog, He's going through, he's going through your files. Your files. On this tablecloth. He's going... He's sniffing through. Oh, he's closer to the cord. He's coming back to the cord. Let me see if I can pursue that. Look Oscar, at this Oscar, cloth. grab the cord. Grab the cord. The, can you grab the electrical cord? Oscar. I can't blink. Oscar, could you grab the electrical cord for us? We need to plug it in. We need to I pl- can't blink. We need to plug the amplifier in, Oscar. Could you grab the the yellow cord? No, the right yellow cord. Look at this tablecloth. The yellow cord. We need the Oscar. Could you just grab it? Yeah, right there, right there. No. He overshot. Look at this tablecloth. He overshot. I can't blink. He overshot the cord. He's coming. Look He's 
coming back. Cool he's coming back for more. What are those? Onions? He's coming. He's coming back for more. He's coming back. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna grab it. Sure a blue flower with red thorns. Look at this tablecloth. tray of lemon cookies. Whoa, that's unusual. I'm about to eat one of this half-eaten one. Are you sure they're not just shaped like that? Wow, delicious. About the American Radio, American Legion Radio Club, and we'll look forward to talking to each of you if we and uh, please uh, join us again sometime. We'll have you on if you have any kind of uh, special event or whatever. Event or whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen. We'll make so, that happen. Uh, so, seven three to you and all there in Indianapolis. And, Indianapolis. and, uh, we, appreciate and uh, we appreciate your time, your time, very, time much, very, much, very, much, very much, Marty. Very much, Marty. Bob, it's been our pleasure. Seven three to you. Let me make this closing remarks. We'll have a special event operation on Saturday, March fourteenth. It's the celebration of the American Legion's birthday. Hope to hear from you then. Seven three to each and every one. Okay, there we go. Okay, March 14th. Okay, everybody, put it, okay, everybody put it down on the calendar. calendar. We'll be looking we'll forward be to looking talking forward to K9TAL. And Don, you, you live in the area of Chapter 73. You didn't make that up. I did not. I just made that up. Chapter 73. You didn't make that up. 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 You didn't make
really shines bright. And it, it, it is really acres just south of Travoli on West McDonald Road. According to the permit issued by the county to Craig Thompson, the towers will range in height from 50 feet to almost 200 feet. John Martin moved in across the street from the Thompson property in June and is outraged at his changing scene. It But Matt Wall, director of Peoria County's Planning and Zoning Department, says the Federal Communications Commission gives ham radio operators the right to build these type of towers. Wall says after consulting with the state's attorney's office, the permit was issued. We met all the requirements that are set forth in our ordinance to uh, to to build towers to operate towers to operate to build towers to build towers to build towers to build towers to to build towers to operate this hammer 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 If this was a mom and pop restaurant, if this was a mom and pop restaurant, and the most polarizing figure, he has to, he has to, 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 he has to write in grit. In In the food scene, he is one of the most and the most polarizing figure in the food and the most polarizing figure in the food scene. He is one of the most powerful people in the food business. Huge, huge star. So what they do? Huge, huge star. So what they do? Huge, huge star. So what they do, huge, huge 
huge, 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 huge star, huge, 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 huge star. So what they do and what they say is much more important than what, you know, the poor schmucks on, you know, uh, cable channels like yourself, uh, mspmag.com, that is a huge, is a huge mega, is a huge mega empire, is a huge mega empire, huge, huge star. restaurant in Times Square, New York City, the most important food city in the world, he has to write that review, and I think he has, he has, he has, he has to write that review, and I think he did a brilliant job of it, and I thought that he did it in a way that we all would have, in the sense that you, you, you shake your head, well, what's he going to do, a traditional review like he did of Le Bernardin, when it reopened, was saying, oh, this course was a, a, a MSPMag.com. Critic, critic is twofold. Number one, to canvas the critic, critic is twofold. Number one, he has to write that review, and I think he did a brilliant job of it. And a great dude, um, great dude. Um, he's a great dad. He's a great husband. 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 Great dad. restaurant in Times Square, New York City, the most important food city in the world, you were saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. What do you think of mail fraud, Derek? I think it's a very serious crime. I mean, like, like felonies aside, like, just as a hobby, like a business, 
I couldn't do that to my country. I don't think yeah, we go. explained it at all. We get, we're just gonna go.
this up and uh, make it even spicier with the chili powder and the chili powder. It's pretty good. And I've got carrots and celery and chili powder and regular oil, black pepper and Mexican hot sauce. We're going to shake it and taste it one more time. Did it, did, it, did it work out or you want to hold off? Hold off, hold off. It, I know, hold off. But I tried to up that, that, that. Uh, between... My between tween, tween, my tween, camera tween, that I did and my computer, three different times they uploaded the free but no place not in work. We did, we can discuss it. Uh, tell everybody about it and 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 and, and what's it? Well, yeah, let's talk about that. So what, what was that? Uh, because today you were trying to do something totally non-electrical. Whole <laughs> hell the grid. Dead, 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 dead. Off grid, right. and I brought my little brown barbecue pit inside. I took the grill out. I took, 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 took. Uh, walk, go back to go my back video. To my video. video. <laughs> Made a alcohol stove out of a Budweiser bottle of alcohol, and I, I'm gonna say one ounce, not very much. Two, uh, go, and it didn't work. We did. We can discuss. Uh, we uh, tell everybody about it and. It's no big deal if you want to talk about well, it. Well, yeah, let's talk about that. So what, what you had done, oh, no, you had do something totally non-electrical, non-powered, completely I went, off the grid. I did. I went off grid. Right. And I brought my little brown barbecue pit inside. I took the grill out. I took clink char and the Cotarco out. Uh, walk, go to Cotarco out. Uh, walk, go to a hall stove out of a Budweiser bottle. And used out the Budweiser bottle. And used out the Budweiser bottle. And used alcohol. Budweiser bottle. And used alcohol. Took the Budweiser bottle. Around it, which was better known as a court cam with two uh, ends cut out of it. I put my grill back on top of that. I got my pan out that I am wax. Put it, put it. On the bottom, uh huh. You put a grill over top of that so you could put stuff on top of it. So you used the yeah. alcohol stove as, and, a heat. as a heat source, then you, yeah. had a, then you had a grill or a cooking surface. Yeah, okay. well, around the, around the alcohol stove, I had a quart can with both ends cut out. That way, it channeled the heat upward. Okay, so you made like a chimney, so all the heat and that went straight up. Okay. And then I put the grill on top of that, which made a, a grate. And let me ask you, took, how do you sleep at night? I took another soup size can, uh, broke up some of my paraffin wax. A soup size can eating the wax up look i fit out the uh, the uh, alcohol stove with about an uh, and uh, it's probably the uh, stove with us the water and maybe an inch and a half tall so 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 inch of alcohol and i'm gonna say one ounce not very much uh So I'm on the internet, as per normal, call it a Tuesday, I'm scrolling, and you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pretty, I'm a man who's pretty well defined by his Google search history, as Google Ads is aware, so they, in response, to a five hour exotic meat research binge suggests to me you know I'm down here I got the sweatpants I got the Guy Fieri shirt hands on the keyboard the wrists are sweating 
They suggest to me fifty dollars for three ounces. The finest ham the money can buy. Hamon, Iberico, Ibeota. Made from Iberian black pigs in a remarkably concise region of Spain. Now, these pigs are hand fed on a diet of acorns, grasses, and brandy, and chopped up. And then they leave them in a shed for two years. They dry them out, roll them in salt, and send them off all over the world. Now, a bone-in shank of this prestigious ham will run you $699, which, if you'll take care to note, is almost $700. But I myself opted to purchase just three ounces of this delectable ham for my father's birthday. And I said, Dad. I said, Dad. I brung you this ham. And he said, what kind of ham is that? And I said, don't you know, Dad, this is the finest ham in the world. Ranked. Guinness Book of World Records best ham you're holding right there. And he says, well. He says, well, son. He says, well. Where'd you get the money for this here ham? I said, what? He said, where'd you get the money for this here ham? I said, dad. I don't like to discuss money. Okay, guys, it's just about 10 minutes before 6 
Alright, vlog two. <laughs> it is Saturday. Get my seatbelt on here. It's 35 degrees. Gosh, it's a heat wave. since morning and early morning and that's great because that's melting off this snow and we need that uh, we've had winter storm warnings winter storm warnings for three days so I'm gonna get out for a little while as you can tell it's kind of a kind of a cloudy day uh, and like I say it is raining we are going to take a little small trip and I thought I'd just talk a while now I'm not gonna make these vlogs I'm not gonna make long, these vlogs uh, long. try not to anyway uh, and, try uh, not to anyway I'm gonna and, do uh, some editing uh, I'm I'll have to do some editing uh, uh, you know, I'm uh, fixing to make a uh, you know, probably a 15 minute trip one way 30 minutes around the trip one way the great thing about, about this little GoPro is, the great thing about this is GoPro. Uh, yeah. I charged it a few minutes ago I don't know if you see my video on my little charging pad that I got and it makes a great Fuck. That's it. We got him sleeping and I ain't having it. Yo, Dad, get out of here. You can cut the tape there, Daniel. We got all we need. Daniel, keep rolling. Daniel? Dad, I got a nosebleed. Hold on a second, Daniel. I need to get this exposure line down. I woke up with my face crusted to my pillow with dry blood. I need 20 minutes, nosebleed. Just 20 goddamn minutes. Daniel, keep rolling, buddy. I'm gonna need you to speak louder. Yo, Dad, get out of here. Daniel? It stopped, but I had a real bad nosebleed. You're a sleeping fucker and I ain't having the it. The blood is still on my nightstand and pillowcase. Look, I'm not going to school today. The hell you aren't leaving this house today. Dad! Nosebleed? You have a nosebleed! I know about the strange things that you do, but when do you pretend to be sick and stay home from school? I've never seen that movie, and I did not ruin your cooking supplies. Like hell! I know about all the strange rituals you're performing when you pretend to be sick and stay home from work. I have been lit a candle since 73, and I'm afraid of the dark, so you know that's really saying something. Yo, Dad, get out of here. This is a stalemate. Yo, Dad, get out of here. But I'm the one declaring it a stalemate, so really, I am the one. 
Twitter. Dad, you are a loser. You have a nosebleed. You have a nosebleed. You are a loser. Yo, Dad, get out of here. Come on, Daniel. We don't need this. I hope you kept rolling, Daniel. I swear to God. I didn't steal them from her. I just took them. She was like, that's thievery. Did she tell you to return them? No. It was too far gone. Right. And she said, you look you look really good with those pants. Yeah, no. She was like, I will admit, <laughs> if you had to take anything, I'm glad it was those pants. And then oh, I man. took her wine, and then I ran back to my hotel room. So... This kid I go to school with, like, he went to high school with Bobby McFerrin's daughter, and there was, like, a party at his house, uh, and one of the kids from the high school stole his Grammy, like, his Grammy award. What? <laughs> That's rowdy as fuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wonder if Bobby McFerrin was pissed. <laughs> I forgot to ask him. Was Grammy. that his only Grammy? Because I'd, more than cause I'd I saw, be pissed. Yeah, I saw a bunch of kids on Tumblr like posting pictures of their parent of them posing with their parents' yeah. Grammy awards. That's some fuck ass shit, dude. Well, what? <laughs> yeah, people like kids of sound designers or whatever. Oh, word, yeah. Why? Because <laughs> they they can take they can get popular off their parents' fame. Mm. Probably more popular than their parents, all told. Yeah, I wish my dad was more popular. Yo, if he if he markets that I'm ham, my dad is flying solo, dude. Yeah, he's out there like slapping chumps in the corporate sector, and then coming home and putting his foot up, playing the didgeridoo, playing the didgeridoo, cooking, cooking up some ham. Yeah, Why was he ham. only wearing one sock? Is that like That's something his, specific? He's literally putting his foot up. Or his foot's all, his foot's yeah, all it's kind of his new thing. It's it's this messed up foot. Did he just lose the sock? Did he choose not to wear that sock? Did he choose not to wear any sock on that dude, foot? Dude, why are you why are you growing? Not I'm not. I'm not grilling. He, he, he I've, not wear the sock on his I've just been looking just for for, for a new belief system, and I was wondering if the one sock was the way to go. Could be, you know. It could be. It's very. It depends on what you're trying to do, you know. But, it seems, yeah. It would be a very like restful belief system. That's you, true. Are, I've are been very tense days, lately. Are you tired? I have. I haven't slept in 61 hours. Wow. Really raking, racking them up. Mm-hmm. Really, really, uh. Really stacking them. Yeah, you just, you just gotta. It's like Tetris, you know. You just gotta. You gotta move it clockwise, but then sometimes you gotta move it back counterclockwise. End up in the same position you were at the start, and then, you know, you're not gonna get it anywhere good. So you just start hitting the down key. So it just speeds up the process, so you, you can fuck up quicker and just try to recover from it with the next piece. But then, then once in a blue moon, you get that fucking square. And you're like, hell yeah, that's square. And then you try to move it, but then you, you get a twitch. You get a nervous twitch, or maybe you get a boner. I don't, know. I don't know. And then you fucking hit the other key, and then the square just lands on that little fucking tower piece. Yo, and you're just like, god damn it. Like, I, I, I had this perfectly lined up. I was going to retire in 10 days. Field. The square is what I was trying to do. The I was going to retire in 10 yeah. days. 10 days. I it around, but it had to land on top of that like, goddamn tower. Like a week and three days, I was going to retire. And then I tried to rotate the square. But then I realized that no matter how many fucking times you, you rotate you a square, it's gonna be a square. It's gonna be a square. It's, it's like the circle of life, but no, Good. it's the square of life, because life has corners. Sometimes it's you, hard. you just find life yourself in a corner. Hard edges. Those and, then, angles. and then you, you just, you just gotta kick the wall down. You just gotta kick like the wall down, down maybe eat a few clementines. Bust out of there, you know what I'm you, saying? You, you gotta be like, yo, yo, I'm, you gotta think outside the box, but life is a box, so you gotta think outside of life. You gotta transcend. Kevin James is a hilarious actor. Just want that on the record. Yeah, sure. Giving a cat, uh, giving a shout out to Kevin James. Yeah, he's, he's he's a funny guy. He's a talented man. We all have things we want to do, you know. Yeah, I I want to do Kevin James. Got a whole list. Got one thing on it. Kevin James. Kevin James. Not even like in a sexual sense. I just want to do Kevin James. In a, yeah, in a more like bodily, sexual yeah. sense. Just I, sort just, of like I just want to him. combine I with want Kevin, to James. Kevin James. I want it to be Kevin Derek James Schmidt. Playing poker. Playing poker by ourselves. 
One hand is controlled by me, the other is controlled by Kevin James. I'm playing my left hand against my right. Yeah. I'll be my own right hand man. Call me left hand Dan. Guys ever think? Guys ever think about lizard people? Like if there are people who are or lizards who are actually people li living among us, L reptilians dressed up in. Uh, polyester and composite fabrics you ever think about you ever think about these lizards who are living among us and you think well that's just not fair the lizards can see everything we're doing the, 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 the lizards know what's, what's good with us but I don't know what's good with the lizards no, I don't know what's good with the lizards. No, I don't know what's good with the lizards. No, I don't know what's good with the lizards. But I tell you, I'm trying to find out. I'm gonna uh, uh, give up this uh, humble human existence of mine and live among the lizards in a lizard costume. Let them think I'm one of them. Spy on the lizards for once. See what the lizards are doing. See what's good with the lizards. Cause I don't know what's good with the lizards. No, I don't know what's good with the lizards. No, I don't know what's good with the lizards. So I'm sewing myself a costume out of polyester and uh, composite fabrics. Finna don it. Finna shove off to the swamp. Plop myself right down. What's good, lizards? What's good with y'all? I mean us. For I am a lizard. Tell me. What's good with people? Cause I don't know what's good with people. Uh, I don't know what's good with people. Uh, I don't know what's good with people. But, uh, I hear you guys have an inkling. Tell me, tell me about the oil business, lizards. How's that go? What's up with, uh, what's up with Congress? What's the story there? Like, what's up with it? Cause I don't know what's good with Congress. Uh, I don't know what's good with Congress. Uh, I don't know what's good with Congress, but I uh, got uh, a sneaking uh, suspicion that you guys might have an inkling. And the lizards are like flicking their tongues in and out, and the lizards are like shooting blood out their eyes, and the lizards are like secreting all these fluids that are whipping the tails back and forth. Some of the tails are detaching, they're scurrying around, some of them are running on the surface of the water, and I'm like, hey! Hey now, lizards, back up, back up there. Everybody slow down. It's okay. I am just a lizard. I am just a lizard. In the basement because it's foam pad or? Yeah, good job on this ham, buddy. Oh, All right. Lie on the ground. Just right here, wooden floor. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Put down, put down my pretzel sticks. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna pick up my ham. So, so we're talking about here. Right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start slowly apply some pressure a little further down. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
it helping at all? Your skin is real loose. Does it help other people? Does it help if someone's back hurts to have them step on your back? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to walk on my back? Yeah, let's try that. Because if not, I know some very strange people. <laughs> Don't try it. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. How you doing? You doing alright? Yeah, keep going. You doing alright? Yeah. Doing good? Yeah. Take a deep breath out. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, your skin's pretty loose too. Yeah, right? I don't know what to oh. say about that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that helping? Yeah, I feel a little better. Called spinal envy. <laughs> I'm doing exotic fruit. Someone fucking put banana. Technically, yes. <laughs> it's fruits there are that we'll never taste. There's so many fruits in the world. The world is standing around here like. And there's so many fruits. Lars, how many fruits are there? Tons. No, like exactly. How many At fruits? At least 90. At least 90. At least Derek says 90. I'd say over 10,000. Lars says, oh, how many fruits are there? What? How many fruits are there? Fruits? How many fruits are there? Are we counting vegetables? No. Just fruits? Just fruits. The good ones are the or the good like ones. All are, fruits. All of them. Every. Nutritional, scientific or nutritional food. Yeah, foods. recognized by the FDA. What? Yeah, like pizza sauce what? is a fucking vegetable in New York State, so what the fuck are we talking about here? We're talking about, like, nice fruits. <laughs> so we're not talking about that shitty government definition. What's the government definition of fruits? If you can put it in your asshole, it's a fruit. <laughs> My quads have been killing me lately. Yeah, these quads. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mingus. Your quads are mighty and powerful. What are you doing complaining? I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, it's lonely at the top. And my quads hurt. I'll say it. I'm just gonna put it right out there. I need to stretch these bad boys out. Put my dogs up, you know, relax for a while. I don't need this. My Saturdays are precious. Teach me how to live my life. I was carrying heavy things a while ago. Putting putting all the weight on my lower back. Since like five age five, five years ago. Nigh on uh, five to the twelfth power. I've been counting, but I really haven't been keeping track all that closely. Different things. Bring us. I got a. Uh, I got a lovely lady here. Say hi to the people, Mrs. Fields. Ah, she's simply glowing tonight. I don't know how many of you already know this, but... Mrs. Fields is a, uh... important... important part... of the... of the, you know, social community here in... Paradise.
What? Anyway. As I was saying, my quads really have been giving me trouble these days. Walking upstairs, downstairs. It's too much. I live a single story lifestyle. Being forced up and down these stairs by the by the rigors of the modern world. What's a young boy to do? Got my hat on backwards and it's time to fucking party. sexy about the letter F. Fuck off, Elmo. Why is Sesame Street even still running? They only have 26 letters. 26 episodes. It's not the English. 
much out of that because it's American. Americans came first, you know? First, first people ever were the Americans. So like, why is Sesame Street still on? Why are there green rocks in my bed? Why, why? Why am I not a lobster? Why am I not a crab? Why won't X buy me pants? Why didn't they ever get off the island? 96 episodes, and they only physically got off the island once. And they just went to a different island with a fucking castle on it. And then they fled from that island back to their island. Why not stay on the island that has a castle on it? You would have beds and clothing, probably a better chance at interacting with society if there's a fucking house on an island with power, with a phone. You would think you would have some sort of contact with the human world. But no. They go back to Gilligan's Island. Whose bright idea was that? The Skipper's? Probably. He was an idiot. Fuck the Skipper. Fuck him, fuck, fuck that guy. Alan Hale Jr. Skipper. What was up with that theme song anyway? They were like, uh, the skipper and his first mate, the millionaire and his wife, the movie star. Professor and Marianne. But yeah, cool. That's the first maid, the skipper too, the millionaire, the millionaire's wife, the movie star, the professor. Hey there, boyos. Hey, bud. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to move around. Uh, move around up here. Well, do you want to dress up like Guy Fieri? That sounds good. You, you have a you Guy Fieri cap? No, hang on. I got a shirt too. There, where'd you put the Guy Fieri shirt? Get the shirt. Get the shirt. No, I think the shirt's in all of us. All right. I don't know. That's probably a more really common answer of yours. Hmm. There, the Guy Fieri shirt. Derek, where is it at? I don't know. Derek, be straight with me. Mm -hmm. I handed it back to you when I was done with it. All this stuff is similar. Wow. Do we have visual? I see you have some fine tickets. Oh, yeah, of course, dog. Dude, how does it feel to be playing the most famous character of our time? <laughs> Pretty one good. Most, one of the most important figures. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's a question I would, I would address to both of you. Just like, how's it feel leading up to the, the final moments of your uh, of your performance careers? You know, as, as far as swan songs go, I'm glad this is it. Yeah. Yes. This is definitely a good swan song. What is baklava? 
Get away from my it's hand. It's a layered Lord. sweet dessert. Lord. It's got like honey and flakes. <laughs> I just like that it. It's very sweet. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a chunk. I just, what is this green? I Some sort of garnish. Nice. Couldn't really taste it. What is this exactly? Tobacco box. What is in tobacco box? Horse meat. Is it <laughs> sweet? Is it salty? Is it savory? It's very sweet. I'm gonna get my hand chopped off if I take the last one. Good. Whoa! What's up, Derek? This is pretty horsey. You gotta, you gotta act quick, act now. Pretty oh. gamey. Oh. Hmm. No, this, this is not doing wonders for my anger management. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. I'm pretty into it. Pretty good. It's good. <laughs> no, I don't know how to describe the flavor. It's horse meat, that's why. It's because you've never tasted horse before. There's nothing quite like it. I feel like I've seen this before. Root beer. I feel like I've seen this online before. Like it as a silly joke? Yeah. It's like caffeinated as balls. time we waterboarded me in this very basement? Yeah, with your head just like dangling out that door. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> That's pretty brutal. Why'd you waterboard him? Oh, see what I, I don't like. I, I lasted like three minutes. Yeah, we wanted to find out who the Lindbergh baby was, so we waterboarded Lars to see if he could tell us, but it turns out he doesn't know. Yeah, it is. But then it turned out to be Derek, right? So it was Lars. Yeah. Right, was Derek's the Lindbergh baby. Forgot. He was like, oh, that's what this was about? And after we, after we untied Lars, we... So what exactly do we got going on over here? Um, I'm about to cook up an omelet. We're, 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 we got our we got our onion here. See that? Chopping it into tiny pieces. Sure. Uh, and then you see once you once you cut off a little nublet on the end of the omelet, you're just gonna keep going, and you're gonna cut your fingers into slices. Right. And that comes next, because we're out of sausages. So that's the fingers. Uh, you want to do your thumb and pointer on your left hand. You're going to need the other three for cooking. For, for the, yeah. Yeah. To grip the cooking instrument. For, yeah, for the process. And you got your hams. Your, this recipe calls for three pre-cooked hams, so start yesterday. Um, you want to have this done on time. For your big dinner party. Here's your ham. No, this is just for yourself. This is, so this is a particularly like a one-man omelet. This is a very one -man lonely dish, omelet, yeah. One-man ham omelet. Um, there we go. Big, nice ham. Get that swan's ass. So is this like an innovation of yours, or like a family recipe? Uh, I think I saw Guy Fieri do this once. Back before he was famous. On his YouTube channel. Back when he was cooking in alleyways. Yeah. For nickels and dimes. Yeah, back when he was like, a, his, instead of, instead of rebellious chef, his trademark was, he was the sad chef. He was the saddest chef in town. Yeah, it was like a sad clown thing. Yeah. Kicked a lot of people out of, his, out of restaurants that didn't belong to him. Yeah, spend a lot of time sulking in the meat freezer. And there we go, that's the other hand. That's the fifth finger right there. Now, speaking a, a bit on ratios. Sure. Uh, we have about half an onion in here. You want to have about six, six to twelve times as much ham. Uh, same goes for eggs. Two eggs, three hams is what you want to go for. 
uh, one chicken, two pigs. Otherwise, you're just making an omelet. You're not making. You're not making. Um, the classic one man ham. You're not. Yeah, you're not making the one man ham omelet. Um, also known as the forlorn rim job in some circles. What's your opinion on like dog food inclusion? You know, for roughage. For roughage, I know you got, we, we got to have your roughage. Sure, they, well, uh, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm thinking also, like, I'm not going to go outside. I'm not going to eat cabbage. I'm going to pick up vegetable. You know. Uh, oh, we'll see. Uh, what vegetables um, with foul odors are okay. Like onions are okay. Garlic is okay. So you got to like pickle it first, or you just mean natural state? But you can pickle it. You okay, can okay, pickle okay. some cabbage so as long as right it's now. sufficiently nasty. Okay. I need some pickled cabbage. Well, yeah, then you'd have to start even some. earlier than yesterday. We exactly. don't really have that much time. Yeah, you're, we're busy people. Yeah, we really got a lot of Despite what you may think. All uh, right. Contracts to negotiate. Non, 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 non-union regional ham commercials. Hold up. I need to hold a little interlude here just for a little second. Hang on. Yeah. That's, uh, that's enough for me, I think. So, uh, how is there any particular like preparation of the of the fingers? Do you need to fry them first? Do well, you no, you want to look at them. Leave them a little rare, and you try not to look at them. Is the is the procedure? Sure. Uh, we learned a lot from uh, you know. Some you of really the you really play it by ear on the fingers, uh, or you could use an ear, and then you kind of got to play it by feel on the ear. Um, so. Yeah, it's a mixed bag. You like brown eggs? You like white eggs? Uh, I'll take what I can get. This is the 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 the, the, the one man omelet is not about is not about being discerning. This is not for the this is not for the higher palate. It's not for the refined palate. Uh, this is like like noon. It's a Tuesday. I'm between dental appointments. Yeah, you're between dental appointments. You want to eat something, but you don't want to, and you want you want to make the experience as unpleasant for your dentist as you can. So you fix yourself up a one-man omelet. That uh, classic one-man ham. Hork it down, and also like in in the entire time that you're making this omelet, which could be a two to three day period, you're not brushing your teeth either. Uh, it's all. It's all about it's all about the dentist. It's all about harassing the dentist. Yeah, I mean, this, fuck him, you this know. dish. Okay. Lord and their knowledge and experience over us. And then hit me with the and charging us for it. Christ. I looked at Daniel. I said to him. I said, Christ. Since when do you need to pay for your own teeth? Like they're 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 God's teeth. I'll pay you to take them off my hand. Hey, Daniel. Hey. Where'd you put those buttery cookies? I put them in. They're in the. They're in the vegetable crisper. Why the hell would you go ahead and put them in there? That's that's where cookies go, isn't it? Keeping crisp with the vegetables. It's my favorite vegetable. They've got eggs in them. They're vegetables. Twisted logic you subscribe to. 
But here, uh, let me throw some cheese. We crisp in up this. our cookies with the throw, lemons and the limes. Throw a bit of cheese in this omelet. Let me get a hit of that. Wow, fucker. Some good cheese, man. Tell you about the Grand Crew. Got my Grand Crew cut. Yeah. Uh, got that private reserve cheddar. We got that Colonel Sandy. Just went and dug it, dug it up out of the hole we buried it in the, 18 months. This ago. is, yeah, this is actually the the private reserve stock that we have here today is made from Colonel Sanders body fat. Uh, that of it that there was left. No, no. Oh! The best fat for both cheeses and soaps. Now, what I just Although did there... Neither smells good. I did not mean to cut off the fingers on the other hand, but I did slip, so we're just going to throw those in. Yeah, and, and luckily, we have a deputy situation here. We have a little sous chef kind of relationship going on, so I can, I can, can get you back with, uh, with the hands. Yeah. Uh, but and... if you really are doing this uh, doing this alone, which which I believe is the, the standard process for the one-man ham dish, oh, yeah. um, outside of this particular interview scenario... You're, yeah, um, I'm, um, you're not allowed to help me right that. now, actually. Yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, this is mainly just uh, an observational kind of situation. Checking yeah. out the cheese, checking out the ham. If you have, the like, if you have a wife who hates you or a son uh, that you've carried over from a previous marriage, they can help you. Um, the son has to be below the ages of four uh, and or above the age of... Like 30, of, yeah. Yeah, love, I was going to say of 18. Um... <laughs> in order to help you, though. They they can't be capable or willing to help you. Yeah. Uh, they they have to really half-ass it. As long as there's resentment between the hands. If you have someone who's, like, mainly mainly bound to a, to a rascal or a rover of some kind, that would be good. Uh, people, preferably, who are about at eye level with the with the flames on the stove. Yeah, the the black sheep of the family should uh, should be involved here. You, if you've he got screams at every gathering. If you've He's got like a if you've team. if you've got like a fat or an ugly child that you've locked in a secret room in your house. Nah, this feeding would be him the, fish heads. This would be yeah, feeding him fish heads. This would be the time to break them out. They can share a piece of this of this omelet with you. Yeah, give them a spoon. Give them a ham. Make them real sad. Yeah, take, taking taking your weird kid out of the attic every now and then to make him sad is a real surefire way to establish dominance and it's, to keep that dominance. I mean, it's the hobby most of my neighbors have going on. I thought I'd try it out. All right, let's go. I said, let me get myself an ugly kid and put him in the attic. Ooh. Second. Sure. Gotta, yeah, gotta position everything just right. Yeah, I like how you didn't cut anything too small. You gotta keep the chunks just okay. large enough so it's uncomfortable for your mouth to deal with. Now, here's where you put in the cyanide capsule. Um, if you're sharing this with somebody, put it off to one side, cut it in half. Whoever gets it gets good luck for a year. Uh, if this is just for yourself, put it right in the middle, eat the whole thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good luck for a year also. Yeah, right. Uh, but that way, that way, it's, that way you're sure of it going to yourself, uh, and not to your fat son. So, we have this cyanide capsule right in the center, because you're not getting any of this. And then we just... Can it just fold? Fold it right over. Seal it up. If you have some envelope sealant, you can put it around the edge. I find that usually helps. You can pick some up from the post office. And remember, if, you're, if your one-man ham turns out to be an unsatisfactory color, paint is a great way to touch it up. If I could, speaking in the post office, again, take a moment of your time to talk about mail fraud. I've got an investment opportunity for those of you out there in the audience. Uh, 
I can let me let me put it this way. I can get as many Razor scooters as you need, free of charge. Uh, you, your kid, one for your other kid. Talk to me after the show. And you gotta, if there's parts coming off, you just gotta paste them to the back. Sure. A little white glue, a little Elmer's classic. Uh, good for your hair, good for your, good for your digestive system. Yeah, I mean, good for a lozenge. As I've always said. Uh, give this bad boy the old flipper Rooney in a second. I'll tell you that right now. Alright. the right time. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Damn. That is the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real it's a real shame you, you don't have uh, uh, an, you don't eye, have eyes. an eye on this one because, damn, that flip was masterful. It's a real cloud freezer. Throw the weenie in there? Yeah, throw, throw a little weenus in there. I like, you want to have a little undercooked sausage with this. Yeah, swallow it whole. Try to undercook everything. Just for practice. Under or over, generally. Never on. Never on par. You can sort of give it, you know, it's like the reach around, you know, one to one to two, I don't know. I'm telling you, it's like golf. Cooking cooking is just like golf. Anyone who tells you different hate gone golfing. Uh, so, paste it up there. Woo! Oh. Ooh, I don't know, man. Maybe cook it more. Lump it back in there. Yeah, that was premature. It's a little creamy. And now it's misshapen and terrible. You see that? We had the perfect omelet for for a minute and a half there. Yeah, that was real bad. I'm glad we got away from that. Yeah. Uh, as, quite, as quickly. That as is not. Did. Yeah, that would that would have not been proper execution for the one man omelet. Yeah, good good to point that out. If it look yeah, if it looks symmetrical, uh, if it looks like well cooked, like cooked well, you're generally gonna want to nip that in the bud. Uh, bud. If you can mash it up into the side of the pan sure, sure. or drop it. Sure. If you have a dog. Bring them in. Bring so, them into the mix. So speaking of technique, you have a I guess, small dog. I guess, I guess one thing I've been wondering. One of the first questions that I heard you were asked when you came to here to this kitchen today. Yeah. They, they, they stopped you at the door and they said, "Hey, but, uh, bud, screw it. You're gonna are you gonna keep wearing those shorts?" Uh, they, yeah. They told me. Well, it was funny. Uh, one of the first things they said when I came into this kitchen today was they stopped me at the door. Uh, they said, "Hey, uh, you got to change your shorts." And I said, "No, why?" Uh. I don't remember what I just kept walking after that. I don't, I don't really give them the time of day. Sure, sure. Uh, mm-hmm. People who... I don't see... It, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I'm going to be cooking... If I'm going to be cooking, I got to have some skin exposed. Uh, I got to... Like, I got to have the shirt off. I got to have... I got to have something. Uh, the shorts and the t-shirt afford me the opportunity to have technically... What I would call two li- like two limbs exposed because you have half of each, sure, so sure. it's still like bare legs, bare arms, but right. uh, without without being totally uncouth. Now these these chumps over here seem to think that wearing shorts is some kind of sacrament uh, on the Food Network, and I'm here to set them straight. I'm here to say shorts is okay, sweatpants is okay. Some t- sometimes. I guess one thing I heard is that it's mostly about the fumes, you know, cooking, the inspiration that comes in the kitchen is mostly, you know, conducted through fumes. So you gotta be able to have your mouth open, your nose open, you gotta be really listening with your whole body, your whole skin, you know, you gotta be willing to absorb what the food's gonna tell you, you know? And how are you supposed to do that if your ankles aren't exposed? What? So I was thinking about shorts, sorry. I didn't hear, didn't hear a look at that, friend. Oh, God. Oh, man. That's looking rough right there. What are you gonna do about that? You just gotta let it. You just gotta press it down. You just gotta press it. You just gotta show it who's boss. Yeah. Yeah. Roll, mm-hmm. roll it a little bit. Give it a little wiggle. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get some close-up audio on that wiggle. We're wiggling the wiener. Oh. <laughs> Can you feel that heat? There's some grease flying around. All right, I'm taking I'm taking this off. Ooh, that's a uh, on three. Seal it up on the inside. Yeah, there. just you know, cauterize it. I should have flipped it over and then folded it. I think you folded it prematurely. Yeah. 
But it's good. You get to have an underdone inside and an overdone outside. That seems like the ideal. Oh yeah. Situation. You want if you can yeah if you can both undercook and overcook in the same dish. Uh, my shorts are off to you. Yeah. I will take my shorts off for you. I guess, like, the question that I ask myself when I'm looking in a pan like this is, would you, would I eat that? I would. Like, right now? I, out of the pan? The answer is usually yes. Hot off the pan? Hot off the pan. Hot off the pan. And, uh, I'm trying to get another wiggle going. I think it's time to... I think it may be just time to pull the plug. Yeah, yeah. Always oh, that. I'm gonna have to do a little two spatula. I don't know in a month. Oh! I give it a vigorous roll. Yeah, just roll it back and forth. Should I put chocolate sauce or caramel sauce on this omelet? What? Should I put chocolate sauce or caramel sauce on this omelet? What? Should I put chocolate sauce or caramel sauce on this omelet? Chocolate sauce. Okay. Yo, come check out this dog. Rolling it up in its own grease. Uh! It's looking real blustered. Yeah, it's rupturing. I'm gonna leave that one up to you. Oh, and he's going for the caramel sauce. Right on there. Really just letting it go. I'm letting myself go. <clears throat> it's a lot of caramel sauce. Yeah, and then we'll hit it with the uh, hit it with some chocolate on the side there because I'm less sure about that one. Mm. Oh no! This is your Hershey's special dark, special dip. Oh, that is not Hershey's special dark. I think it's just chocolate milk. What? <laughs> yeah, mom makes chocolate milk in the Hershey's bottles. Why? <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a thing she does. Like for jokes? For fun jokes that she's making? I can't believe you haven't noticed till now. I've been I've been putting chocolate milk on my dang ice cream, I guess. It's not all of them, it's just some of them. I mean, like not all the time. You check this technique out. Is that cooked, you think? It's cooked to me. Easy. Gotta work up like a bumper car's kind of rhythm. Should I cut it in half or I cut it in half? I well, we'll find out if you could cut it in half. Yeah, there you go. And we'll stand it on end. Seal those up.
there. That's messed up, dude. Hey! <laughs> <coughs> wow. So, uh... The inside does not look done. Does that look at all cooked to you? You gotta jam it on the end. Well, that's just that end. That's, that's a whole inside of a sausage inside that sausage. Well, how are you supposed to cook it? You should... Slow burn is the way to do it. I had it on high that whole time. Oh, so we just, like, seared the outside? Yeah. Well, oh, that's good. Which locks in the flavor. But you're supposed to do that at the end. Uh, why don't you cut them in half long ways? Oh. Hey. Oh. Sausage on the floor. Ooh, three seconds. Nice. Back in the back pan. in the pan. Any nails? In. What if we start? We think of Danny. There we go. Got to do the sacrificial method. Cut it long ways. Nice. Yeah, that's not cooked. Yeah, flip, 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 flip that bad boy over. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do it like that. Whoop. Hey. Driving in my car. Peter Lacey. Driving in my damn car. Peter Lacey. We're gonna be right back. How we doing? Pretty good, boy. What's the uh, sausage situation looking like? Right?
Nice. I like the symphonic ending. Yeah, right? Oh, that's not looking too good, though. It's really not penetrating well, the heat. I mean, his fault she can't penetrate. Uh... Ooh! Let me... Got a twinge in my jaw. Yeah, you just had a guy rooting around in your mouth, bud. Yeah, Christ. I'm about to have him go with another goddamn guy rooting around in my goddamn mouth. Cooking hands on trip, a hand spool to around 30 degrees. Cooking hands on trip juice from whipping through the airtight seal. Cooking hands on tray. Cooking hands on trip. Cooking hands on trays would flatten the underside, but hanging them by mats keeps them nice and round. Then solution is prepared. solution is prepared. Made of water, sugar, salt, and a few secret ingredients. Next, workers load a machine called the stuffing horn, which fires each ham into a heat-resistant cotton net. Workers seal each one with an aluminum clip. Then, cut off the excess netting. Cooking hams on trays would flatten the underside, but hanging them by nets keeps them nice and would flatten the underside. Cooking hams on trays from ripping through the airtight from ripping through the airtight seal. Water, what, what? Rims cool from 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 rims
So, what's going through your head right now? Undercooked about, breakfast time. Well, I've got some provocative sauces. I've got the caramel sauce. I've got the chocolate sauce. And I've got just some runny, runny yellow eggs on here. Uh, we're about to try the undercooked sausage. Uh, dipped in the chocolate sauce, of course. It's going in my mouth. Mm. It's pretty good, boy. But yeah. you mind if I have the last sips of um No oh, yeah, that's been out, you can go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, work down the spesh. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, I don't even know how I just did that one. I'm feeling bad. <sighs> I'm feeling like this sausage right about now. Bendis. Similar to Flats from SpongeBob, I think. The Flounder. 
He, thre- he kept threatening to kick his butt from boating school. Right. Yeah. The one who, like, harassed him and bullied him. That's like the SpongeBob character on this. I kept thinking of Bubble Bass for some reason. Yeah, I was like, Bubble Bass's name, Bass's name isn't Flats. I'm pretty sure Bubble Bass was a flounder, too. No, he, he was a bass. bass. Tell him to take his time. <laughs> Yo, where is Lars? I just witnessed... I just witnessed my phone go from 79% to 82%. What a world we live in. Um, it's a droid mini. Yeah, pick one of these. Yeah. Sure. Why did you point at I pointed that one. No, I pointed that one. No, that one. Yeah. This one? No. No. Oh, of course. No. No. That one. Yeah. Who else? Who else can we hit up? I've been an acting troupe lately. Does she? I can contact this group message that I'm a part of. For some. I I don't have all of the contacts in this group message so i only get the contacts of the people or i only get the messages of the contacts i do have there's seven people in this conversation and i only get the texts from one person so i'm like very frightened actually is this even on why am i talking into okay i didn't know if this was like an aid to help me talk more? Uh, Walmart, you, you say at a, a point and I'm quoting, Walmart has been the leader with a, a point and I'm quoting, Walmart has been the mercilessly inflicted on its workers, it mercilessly inflicted on its workers, and mercilessly inflicted on its workers. Maybe Walmart workers, workers, workers should make less today than 1968 adjusted for inflation mm-hmm. because the minimum wage has been stagnant and it's now at seven and a quarter. If it was adjusted seven and a quarter, 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 if it was adjusted seven and a quarter. That's true. This microphone so it's more smells really bad. It's not more expensive. You know, this girl, this girl that goes to our school, she keeps trying to hop in on my good time. She started telling people that we had a casual thing last year and that we weren't official, but we might as well have been. And I was like, whoa there, chief. I spoke two words to you. I sat next to you, I think, once. That did not happen. That was not a casual thing. That was not a thing. That was not anything. I changed my Twitter handle to Garfield. She changed hers to lasagna. Made it look like I was the one giving the chase. No! She keeps, she keeps trying to communicate with me. She just posted lyrics from All Star by Smash Mouth. 
kept trying to tell me that the league had taught us some smash mouth tweeted at her. One of those two things that I know, it's one, all of his tweets are sent directly to my phone. And he did not tweet to her. Number two. Rubber stamp for the director. Yeah. That's okay. not a market. Okay. Yeah. But here's here's the rub. Uh, I guess I really it's just really explained important. it in that one it's point. Really important here. It's really important. It's but really I don't important. fucking it's enjoy it's really important. lies it's being important. spread it's about really me. It's really which really helps it's the wall really When I went on a date with my GF. If they had... If, if she was like, oh, well, does he really know it's a date? With that 51. And she it's was like, way to use last that. I remember, they would give them a I presented it to him as a date. I did not so trick him this into this. There was no to put contract he now, signed into. They don't have any any role in deciding how a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Disagree. And I uh, disagree that the idea that investors and it may be that investors don't do. I've been what watching like Shrek the Musical every night fully from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Real just to get hyped up, just to get in character. I strip naked and start to cover myself in gray sharpie caps. Does not fit into a traditional. That doesn't really help with the characterization of my character, the donkey. I just like the way they feel on my skin. They uh, said that the average worker at Walmart was making $19,000 a year, which at that time was... When people ask me if I'm going to college, I say thank you. I don't really know why. I'm not trying to be clever. I'm just trying to fill the silence. For all supermarket workers, it was I mean, so are they actually... And then they say, I don't understand. What are you thanking me for? And then I say, I don't know. It's generally very unpleasant to talk to me. People usually don't usually don't uh, approach me because I have an intimidating. But I mean, but yeah, I mean, I guess this is this island remains a point of contention between. I've been told that they don't your know what's worse, my stare or the skin that covers my eyes. And I say, well, quite frankly, Mom, I don't know what to make of that. And she says, oh, well, I know that when I brought you into this world, I wasn't expecting such horrendous islands. But, but, but it's, it's classic concentration of power. Walmart. And then I just, I just drink, drink of any kind of, you know, my lips in diet and, uh, green citrus tea. <laughs> and no, this is true. Yeah, true. Corporate s- s- and then I just s- close s- my s- eyes. Driving out small right. And then I hear the little patter of everybody's feet exiting the room. Eric Islands, they call me. I can smell an ox at 40 paces with a wink. That's a different story, though. I'm just very seductive to uh, bovine creatures. Lars will be here in 10 to 15 minutes. Is that is there more ham? Oh shit! Uh, what am I doing down here? A little bit about um, you know why that? I mean, it's very popular, or it's a, a large part of the book. Why did the military-industrial complex get to a point where you know, have somebody like Barack Obama, 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 Now, one more time, can you just explain to me as to what's going on? Whoa! Uh, I'm, I've been taken hostage, first by Derek. Uh, no Lars came in and just beat him up. Uh, so now I'm being taken hostage by Lars. Uh, 
He's really, I'm thoroughly taped right now. He's taping me good. Tape the other leg in, dog. Yeah, the legs, put more attention to the legs. It's a prime point of struggle. Just get that ankle down. Yeah. That one across my shoulders put, really put me in a hunch, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to be uncomfortable and trapped. <laughs> Harry is going to be the best part. Yeah, so, uh, what stage are we at here? See, my, there's too much snot on my nose for that to stick. Oh. So I'm not, I'm not really worried about that one. That's brutal. But. And what? I'm ready to get going here. Maybe a Weisenheimer? Hey. You're just going to give me that twice? <laughs> or not even once? Right across the face. Oh! Just like, okay. You're a very confusing captain, Lars. Well, let's start uh, uh, like the actual process here. Um, <laughs> working, he's starting with the face. Working, working from the face down. I see some activity around the right arm. You know what? We didn't take the fingers down. That, that was a boo boo. Oh, he's rocking. He's rocking back and forth. Yeah, move that chair. Yeah, just make sure he, there's nothing to fall on. If you would. Yeah, keep rocking. Keep rocking. Keep on rocking in a free world. Rocking in a one on one. Ow! <laughs> Ooh, that was a hard fall. Do you want to stay down? Do you want to get back up? And no, I'm down, down. I'm down. He's down. Okay, he's gone. Now, if he uh, wants to get down, we have to bring him back up. We have to go against some bushes. No, I, I think. I think. He's, no, we just lift him into the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The assumption is that he's left the room at this point, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's part of the circulation. He's working on the legs now. He's getting some. He's getting some movement in the right ankle. I have a plan. If I can just. He's got a plan. He says. Is it coming out of the shoe? Is that the angle? Is that what's going on? Yeah, you're taking off the shoe. It's just All right. I use plastic tape. He has the ability to stretch it out. Yeah, I think maybe that's going to be a the deciding factor here. How's that? How those ankles feel, bro? Uh, they're pretty taut. <laughs> there we go. If I right. can just... It looks like you've done nothing, but yet you're saying, there we go. No, no, no. It's, something's happening. He's getting some leverage. Does he get a handout? He's got some grip. Oh, oh it's the shirt. Oh! oh coming, out with the, coming out with the left hand. Real strong. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Where'd you get that? that? Oh. And he busts a razor out of nowhere. What a good angle. Oh, that's this some James Bond crap right this there. This kid is home free. He's a seasoned escape man. Our it's the fault of the captors to not, to not sweep the floor. Yeah, yeah, I did leave it there.
of the unorthodox wrestler. He plants that fist in there, and that signifies the referee that the hand is open. Poignant has the, all the moves of the unorthodox wrestler. He plants that fist in there, and then signifies the referee that the hand is open. started messing with us and he grabbed the guy by his head bit his nose off and spit it in his face and uh, Haku and I were in, in the bar and this so, some marks started messing with us and he grabbed the guy by his head bit his nose off and spit it in his face. Guardian, and then we got some other little airline to uh, White Plains um, or uh, to to um, Poughkeepsie. <clears throat> and when we were at LaGuardia, I remember. Uh, 
the ham, 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 Score the ham with the ham. 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 Which you can see this. So we're wasting enough rice vinegar to make this brush. Twenty minutes. 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 And we're gonna continue doing this every twenty minutes until our ham is ready. Doing this every twenty minutes until our ham is ready. Doing this every twenty minutes until our ham is ready. Doing this every twenty minutes. Until our ham is ready, and I'm doing this every 20 minutes. Until our ham is ready, and I'm doing this every 20 minutes. Until our ham is ready, and I'm doing this every 20 minutes. Until our ham is ready, and I'm doing this every 20 minutes. Until our ham is ready, and I'm doing this so that's what I did here over the entire surface. Cool. So that's what I did here over the entire surface. And that really is the trick here to get that amazing magazine cover quality crust. And once we've brulee our glaze, we'll go ahead and transfer that onto our stick. Take it, 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 take
Really makes the pulled pork special. And we're and we're and we're and we're and we're and we're two cups of barbecue sauce. Two tablespoons of mustard.
We just have to do the outside. We're gonna be just the way we want it to cook with. This was the rusty one, right? And turn any old piece of abused cast iron with a little TLC into that brand new piece of cast iron ready to go to work. Griff says he's just gonna eat some ham. Unaccompanied? No starch, I'll, no vegetables. I'll take some bread separately. Yeah. Griff and Derek are really purists about their food. One thing at a time. Nice. Got this fur coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do that really nice, tall. Derek. Oh, yeah. no, come yeah, down. Asker rejected my clementine offering. Huh? He doesn't like he doesn't like fruits. You want the bread butter, Derek? Oh no, thank you. He'll take the butter. Derek's system. got enough butter in his system already. Yeah, no, I I read this book butter based only off the title. It's actually really sad, really messed up. It's about this fat kid named Butter, and he decides Ooh. he's just sick of his life and he decides to um create a website where he eats himself to death on a live stream. It's really dark. I just thought it was going to be a good time because the title of the book is Butter. Where did you find that book? The library. Jesus. At school. Fireball. Some kind of candy. Some kind of candy confection. Some kind of atomic fireball over here. Oscar, what do you think of this? How's that, how's that smell to you? It smells alright? I think I may just have to go for it. I think I may just have to go for it. I think I may just have to go for it. Daniel, from out uh, here in my mouth, it's coming up. All right, all right. It's in my mouth. The fire bar is in my mouth. Fun, it's real. It's happening now. Oh, oh, son. Oh, man. Pretty, pretty. Uh. Oh, it fell out of my mouth. It fell out of my mouth. The atomic fireball is gone. It's, it's on the floor. Where it, I don't see where it rolled to. We don't roll we to. Do not we have, have, we do not have information have. yet. We're looking. We're really searching, but... Uh, I don't see it. I regret to report that we have lost visual contact with the atomic fireball. Luckily... It appears as though there is another in our supply. I'm coming in hot on the second atomic fireball. Here we go. It's eating. It's coming fresh from my mouth. It's fresh from my mouth. It's fresh from my mouth. All right. Here we are. 
Brent, this is round two. Fireball. It doesn't feel the top of the time. I'm not struggling with my Up, 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 up. Yes. I'm really feeling it now. Really getting uh, Woo. Woo. Uh, the cinnamon flavor is so overwhelming. Oh, uh, uh, it's so hard. It's unforgiving. I'm seeing fucking stars. I'm seeing spots. So atomic. Oh. Inside of my cheeks, fucking burning me. Oh. Pizza pie, no coli. Why do you turn this fucking thing on? Cause my name. Upstairs to check out the ham situation. How's this? How's this ham going, Dad? It's nearly done. Worry. Oh, you already got clementine. No. Yeah, load up. 
<laughs> grab, a, grab a couple of those guys. Yo, I learned how to juggle. Yeah, let me throw it down there. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You just figured out how to juggle. <laughs> that was close. You're just gonna put it back. <laughs> Uh, carbon or something that we have to breathe. I can't remember the exact composition of what, uh, comp composition of what mammoths and stuff like that. Like everything on this island, mammoths and stuff like that. A thousand years ago. A thousand years ago. They did. A thousand years ago. They did. Big people. Uh, a thousand years ago. They did. Big people. Uh, a thousand years ago. A thousand years ago. A thousand years ago. And uh, they are big people. Uh, they are big people. Uh, a thousand years. Ago, they are big people. Uh, so, to me, um, I mean, considering that most Europeans, or pretty much all Europeans, share they are big people. Uh, so. I mean, considering that most Europeans, or pretty much all Europeans, share Neanderthal DNA, who do they, these people share their DNA with? You know, have we not, you know, because trolls, 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 were two trolls, trolls, were two trolls, trolls, were two trolls, were to protect man, trolls, were to protect man, trolls, were to protect man, trolls, were to protect man and God told the angels that they were to bow down to man that they were supposed to be uh, very impressive now the other thing is too is that uh, with all that going on you have to understand too there were prehistoric very many people around them are eating the same diet living in the same you know uh, and the thing is, is because of that, you can't say it's solely due to the environment. They're just crocodile. That thing was mad. Just crocker. Just crocker. Just crocker. Just crocker. Just crocodile. That thing was just crocodile. That thing was massive. They're just crocodile. That thing was massive. And look at crocodiles now. It's just a smaller version. So things do change. You know. You know. Things do change. But yet these two are just crocodile. Uh, I, I don't rule out. I would have. A, I'm not. I don't have enough faith to be an atheist or anything like that because it's like I couldn't close my mind to say that. Okay, just because we haven't discovered it yet, it can't be possible. You know. Uh, in fact, like if that's what you, you know. If you're an atheist, I'm not trying to convince you of it. But the only thing I do is uh, there's some, when there's something different. I mean, I it, I just. Can't, you know, than anything. And it's kind of like, hmm, you know, what can we answer on this? What can't we answer? It's not the stuff we can answer. It's the stuff we can't, you know, the publishers of the day, they just were, uh, they believe uh, in uh, the, uh, the caves in Spain where they, uh, they got all of the drawings. They believe there's forms of writing in there. So, it's hard to say first of anything came from. But you do know that stories were told in those stories. Had it, had it had it experience. Had it experience. So, so, how they, how they, how they, yeah, 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 well, anyway, I'm going to cut this one short. So, anyway, uh, yeah, have yourselves a great day. There we go. Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on that Okay, okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on that Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on the video. Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on the video. Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on the video. Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on the video. Okay, so as much as I hate the
so as much as I hate the sound of my voice on the video, I have to show everyone this mental thing I just discovered about my house. Uh, some of you might know that a couple of years ago, um, I discovered someone living in my basement in the closet under a thing, 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 thing. Um, so here is a uh, this is how you get thing, 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 thing. thing, thing. Um, so here thing, 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 thing. Um, so here is a uh, this is how you get into my house. And um, 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 there's a random door here. Um, um, there's a um, there's a random door here. A just a just a a just a just a in 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 kind of a just kind of a just kind of noticed yesterday. I've been here for three years. And look what happened when I looked in here. I'm gonna try to use this chair I put in here and climb up and show you what I found inside. And I hope I don't fall. I've got my little book light to help. Come on, come on. Kerr. Oh, what this, oh, what this, oh, what this thing is. Let's see. He just know what this And. Huh. Oh my god, is that a key? That might be a key. Okay, um, I am going to try to grab. What looks like it might be a key, and and see if I can snoop around this thing and find and see if I can snoop around and see if I can 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 snoop around this thing and find out what the hell is going on with my house. Living inch thing. He doesn't know what this and living inch thing. He doesn't know what this and he doesn't think. He what this and what this he doesn't he doesn't he just he just he doesn't he just he doesn't he just he just So here is a. Uh, this is how you get into my. Huh. Oh my god, is that a key that. Huh. 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 Oh my god, is that a key? Huh. Oh my god, is that a key that might be a key? Okay, um. I am going to try to grab. It looks like it might be a key. And see if I can snoop around this thing. And 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 see if I can snoop around this thing and find out what the hell is going on in Okay, 
much as I hate the sound of my voice, I'm so excited. Okay, say so as much as I hate the sound of my voice, I'm so excited. Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice, I'm Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice, Okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice, Okay, okay, so as much as I hate the sound of my voice, A bed, and see if I can snoop around this thing and find out what the hell is going on with my house. I realized why the rent was so cheap. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. It's pretty small, pretty nice. Why the rent was so cheap. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. Pretty small, pretty, pretty, pretty. So I moved in without even viewing your And Then when I got here, 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 so cheap. It's a really old oh, view, like really, really. Hard. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. So I moved into last week. It's pretty small, pretty nice, pretty small. Rent nice. is pretty cheap, so I moved Rent in without even. Cheap, so I moved in without even viewing your face. And then when I got here, I realized. And then when I got here, I realized. Okay. Got it. 
Oops. This hole I started up here. 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 It turns out that entirely behind this wall here is like another like a secret great passage or something, which I think I can answer through this hole I started up here. Inside of here, it's all this hole is all this hole. Great for selling papers. Former Denver Post columnist Dick Crack wrote the book on the Small Doan family, which basically ran the city's underground gambling from the 30s through the 70s. There were our gangsters. Gangsters who needed a high. There were our gangsters. Gangsters who needed a high. There were our gangsters. Gangsters who needed a high. There were our gangsters. Gangsters who needed a high. There were our gangsters. Gangsters who needed a high. to burn crack says during that time there doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house to burn and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house to burn and doesn't and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house to burn and doesn't and doesn't believe and doesn't believe and doesn't believe and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house to burn and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house to burn and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house to burn and doesn't believe anyone booby trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond doesn't believe anyone who trapped the house the bond was published Feeney has seen people stopping by his block to look at the house that he may start charging people a dollar to come inside for a look. <laughs> at 720 Vassar Road.
Excavator is stuck. In Sweden, a excavator is stuck. In Sweden, a excavator is stuck in the mud. With a Scania 970 from 869, from a Scania 970 from 1962, with a Scania 970 from 1962, and a heavy wrecker from Thorson's Iopsia, Terum Grand helps the excavator up on safe ground. With a Scania 970 from 1962 and a heavy wrecker from Thornsons, I helped the excavator up on the safe ground. After one week, the excavator was at work again. Woo! It was at work again. You hear that? One week. Only one week. Why? That's no time at all. Long front excavator oversized load. Caterpillar 349E long front excavator oversized load. Load oversized excavator long front 349E caterpillar caterpillar 349E long front excavator oversized load. Load size over tour of a extra front long knee 943 kill catter caterpillar 349E long front excavator oversized load.
If I, if I do it at noon, it'll be done by six o'clock at night. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I do it at noon, it'll be done by six o'clock at night. <laughs> this and you put it down in there you make this you make this and you put it down in there you make this and you make this and you make this and you put it down in there I'm going to try a chicken tomorrow or I'll make it uh it's getting late and late and late and late and uh, I don't want to lose life Pepper, 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 pepper for uh, making uh, that's all the residual heat it needs. And these little star foam soft, soft, put it, uh, th uh, that's all the uh, 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 that's uh, uh, that's all the uh, 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 Put it up now, and tomorrow we're gonna get off and put it up now, and tomorrow we're gonna get off and put it up now, and tomorrow we're gonna get off and put it up now, and tomorrow we're gonna. If I do it at noon, it'll be done by six o'clock at night. I'm going to try. If I do it at noon, it'll be done by six o'clock at night. If I do it at noon, it'll be done by six o'clock at night. So I'm on the internet, as per normal, call it a Tuesday, I'm scrolling, and you know, I'm, 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 I'm a pretty, I'm a man who's pretty well defined by his Google search history, as Google Ads is aware, so they, in response, to a five hour exotic meat research binge suggests to me you know, I'm down here I got the sweatpants I got the Guy Fieri shirt hands on the keyboard, the wrists are sweating they suggest to me $50 for 3 ounces. The finest ham the money can buy. Hamon Iberico Ibeota. Made from Iberian black pigs in a remarkably concise region of Spain. Now, these pigs are hand-fed on a diet of acorns, grasses, and brandy, and chopped up, and then they leave them in a shed for two years, they dry them out, roll them in salt, and send them off all over the world. Now, 
A bone-in shank of this prestigious ham will run you $699, which, if you'll take care to note, is almost $700. But I myself opted to purchase just three ounces of this delectable ham for my father's birthday. And I said, Dad. I said, Dad. I brung you this ham. said, what kind of ham is that? And I said, don't you know, Dad, this is the finest ham in the world. Ranked. Guinness Book of World Records best ham. You're holding right there. And he says, well. He says, well, son. He says, well. Where'd you get the money for this here ham? I said, what? He said, where'd you get the money for this here ham? I said, Dad, I don't like to discuss money.
fingers. above your head and drink water. Just give me two dresses. He said elbows above the head.
like not doing too well lately and as far as memories go. Yeah. Um did He's he, listening. Do you like just leave? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's listening, don't worry about it. Right. He's done. Um What was that? You're talking about how you've been having some trouble with your memory lately. Yeah. Alright. That was that was a plot device. I, I remembered what I was talking about pretty well. Fuck! Um, <laughs> no, but, so, what happened is, alright, well, first off, another precursor to this precursor, I'm, oh yeah, I'm dating the congressman's daughter now, I heard so I've that. got some, like, political edge. Sway, yeah. Yeah, um, so, I forgot her name a lot, like, I, I can remember her face very clearly, like, it wasn't a matter of, like, wow, who is she? It was, like, what is her name? I can't remember people's names today. Like, who was that? <laughs> Margaret Richards came up to me in the hallway and was like, oh, do we have Spectrum today? I just, like, bent down to be at eye level. She's not this short, but, like, I bent down at eye level, and I was, like, squinting at her. I was like, Margaret. Yeah, and, and then, like, I had to, I saw Ryan, yeah. and I was like, mm -hmm. like, I just pointed at him, and he was like, are you okay? I'm Ryan, and I was like, yeah, okay, now I'm good. <laughs> so, I don't even know what the point I was trying to make with that was. Where, where was I go? what was Garfield? the initial story? Oh, Garfield, so, my memory's been on the fritz lately. Yeah. Um... That being said, the best I can remember with that is I was in pre-calculus, and I get really tired in the morning, so I'll just, like, think of something, and then I'll start laughing. That week, it was Brian Griffin from Family Guy saying, I'm a pizza dog. So I just kept drawing him on every paper I could find wearing a suit saying, I'm a pizza dog. Yeah. It was getting on everyone's nerves. So they were trying to, like get me off of that, and so Rainy just turns to me, and she always has, like, a really deadpan voice, she was like, I was watching TV the other day, and this commercial for Garfield came on, and he was just singing, lasagna, lasagna, baked, armana, and I, I just, like, f lost it, I was in the, like, we were about to take a unit test, got a 54 on that, because I just kept thinking about <laughs> Garfield, just... <laughs> this like white span of nothing just a void just going back and forth like really badly animated too just like singing about lasagna in a really deadpan voice and so I was telling Max about that and he's trying to tell him about ska music and he's skipping around the floor like a, apparently it's a dance move called the skank um he's real into that um, he's Max's? just, yeah, he's just oh, like... he just discovered skanking? <laughs> yeah, he's skanking across the floor. He's not wearing shoes, so he's, like, sliding. Yeah. And he's making fun of Nacho, his boss at Bananas. He's, like, the in-joke now. Yeah. Um, he was just like, correct, correct, correct. And I was like, because apparently he'll just start chanting things under his breath. Cool. Like, Max will do something right, and he's like, yes, correct, correct, correct. And... So I was like, yo, what if, what if you say lasagna around him enough to just start having him say lasagna under his breath? So he's just skipping around the school chasing me, saying lasagna in like a really bad Mexican accent. I, I hadn't slept in 74 hours at that point, so because our rehearsals go until 9.30 and then when I'm home, I'm just like, well... It's already practically morning. I might as well just stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> just put on some Everybody Loves Raymond. I've tried to take up knitting. That didn't work because I was too focused on Ray Romano's face. Right. Threw that right out the window. That was the worst 36 minutes of my life. Um, and so I'm, I'm like sleep deprived. I'm like running down the hallway with my one bad leg. Just from, and like Max is like really tall too. And I don't know why, that just really added to the comedic effect to me. Um, I just collapse. I'm just like, I can't take anymore. He pulls up a gif on his phone of rotini being made, and it's just coming out of the little slicer. Yeah. And he's like, look how exquisite this is. And that's another joke we have. Sanford, um, I was just venting about how annoying he is to me one day. 
So I was like, this is most unexquisite. Why well, I feel like that's his catchphrase, even though he's never said that and unexquisite isn't a word. Right. But that was the joke to me. Like, <laughs> he doesn't... Was, yeah. And so he was like, oh, well, Derek, look how exquisitely this, this tritone is being made. And so I just start laughing at him because I'm like, your knowledge of pasta is weak. Like, it's rotini, not tritone. <laughs> oh... Max is taller than you? That yeah, he's, has? yeah, he's like six feet tall. When did that happen? I don't know. Damn. Yeah, no, he's like really tall. <laughs> hey folks, welcome back. Where you been? 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 Oh, I'm almost gone. Never mind. I'm back now. And I wanted to make this video. I watched my good friend the Southern Country Lines video about his place during the snow. And uh, I had texted him and said, hey man, I'll bring my snow to throw down there. But by the time I get there, it's on the back of my tractor. Maybe melted. He's uh, making those cars and noises. He's uh, making those cars and noises. But I digress. So, let's talk about the negatives. First of all, no new debt. Stop taking on debt. Some people upside down. Do we? At the top of the world, which is Maslow's, it very well, it very well, it very well. Do we? It very well, it very well, it very well. Do we? It very well, do we? At the top of the world, which is it very well, do we? At the top of the world, which is it very well, do we? It very well, do we? At the top, it very well, do we? It very well, do we? At the top of the world, which is Maslow's hierarchy of man. You've got air, water, okay, and you work. You, it's feeding you lies. And please don't say yes, that's why I watch Fox News. Oh, in it. And you, 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 we think, oh, I need a new car. I need this uh, at first, but then you do need it later on. Now you're addicted. You can't live without uh, the coffin nails. I know. My mom was addicted. She died. Uh, and the emphysema was the thing that really, uh, they go through the swamp. You know you do. You know you do. There's only to go through the swamp. They 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 go through the swamp. You know you do. They go through the swamp. You know you do. They go through the swamp. You know you do. They go through the swamp. They go through the swamp. You know you do. You know you do. There's only one way to get through there. One way to check it. To improving our homestead, making it more sustainable. You become your own insurance policy, uh, which is the beauty of living off grid. Everything that you buy goes right back into you. I mean, what an investment! Uh, from buying, you know, bulk foods, I made sure I found a, a source of a bulk foods right away. Um, which was, uh, had, a, had a drop off in town, and I could order my bulk, uh, dry beans, um, anything to bulk, bulk spices, a few contacts with other people, we found out where to shop for bulk groceries, and even though we can't make a trip to the court lane, um, it was important. Uh, we also, um, whenever I figured I needed something to, to do for the improvement of the homestead, I would buy two of everything. right now to um, improve your homestead, uh, even if it's garden soil or more seeds, uh, anything like that. You know, we had, when I bought my Wonder Mill grinder, I made sure I had a hand grinder in case the electricity uh, solar wasn't available. And I made sure we bought a meat grinder, so we had a hand grinder too. So we do have one, one of everything, sometimes two of everything. All right, so... Our way of doing things on our homestead, living off grid, 100% debt free. The other thing, and I think I've talked about this before, when we chose Idaho, 
And so pull both of them at the same time. You This thing, uh, how much this thing weighs. So here we go. And if you see, the triggers are actually united in the cat. And if you see, there you, there you go. Let's see how this thing, uh, how much this thing weighs and uh, fire it a little bit. Oh my 
You're gonna go on my lips? Don't open your mouth. This is so thick. Stoney will ever be able to beat. So without further ado, I am the LA Beast, and this is the thousand year old preserved duck egg challenge. Carbonation going. So if this stuff actually works, I don't know, it's about four or five years old. This stuff actually works. Hopefully, it'll be just an explosive diarrhea bomb.
So they know me on site at the grocery store. They see those automatic doors open. They see the sweatpants walk in. And they know I'm going right for the ham aisle. The sweatpants walk in. They know I'm about to start rifling around. And you you know, you can see me. I'm 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 upsetting the cold cuts, you know, I'm shifting around the ham hocks. I'm down there, I'm down in there in the shank section section, you know, I'm mixing it up, I'm jumbling them around. You know, you can't tell ham from turkey by the time I'm out of here. And they say, Sir Sir Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this to us, sir? They're d I tell you, they're down on their hands and knees in the ham section in tears. And they're 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 screaming. They're cursing the skies. They're saying, Sir! Sir! Why are you doing this to us, sir? Why are you doing these things? And I say you don't understand, I love ham! And they say, then why are you doing these things? And I say, I just gotta... Ham, I love the ham. I just gotta touch it. Ham, there's there's the never ham. gonna be a way to express ham, to him how I really feel about it. Ham, I love the ham. This, is, this is just a lot of... Uh, this is just a lot of frustration being invented about my physical relationship with him. I wish Ham knew how I felt about it. And I wish the employees knew how I felt about Ham. And I wish I knew how the employees felt about me. And I wish I knew how the, the Ham felt about the employees. The employees. The employees. It's a real love triangle kind of situation. The employees do how I felt about Ham. The employees do how I felt about Ham. All those employees, all this ham, all these sweatpants, forget about it.
Really telling them. Really showing them what's good. 